channel in case you're new here my name is Phil in case you're clicking this video for the first time you are very much welcome in today's video let's make chapatis I know many of you like chapatis I really really love chapo so I know there's a lot of method on how to make chapatis at home but today I'm showing you a very easy method because chapatis requires like a longer process for me personally I hate standing long hours in the kitchen just making one recipe so this chapati recipe is very easy very quick you don't have to stay long in the kitchen it doesn't require much ingredients only four ingredients so remember I've listed the ingredients and their measurements in the description box down below so don't forget to check on that so these chapos you can serve them with some stews like meat stews chicken stews or even for breakfast with some tea or even for lunch so without saying more let's get started So the first thing you're going to do, you will add all-purpose flour to your bowl. You'll also add some salt. You just go ahead and mix that well. This will take about a minute. Next here I have some warm water. So this water is just warm like a baby's bath if you can put it like that. So just go ahead and add it to the flour. You're just going to use our hands so make sure your hands are very clean. Just go ahead and mix this well with your hands until you have a nice sticky dough. So this process can be so quick if you have a dough mixer. Just put everything in the dough mixer and knead it. So just going to knead this for about 5 to eight minutes until you form a sticky dough so that's how sticky the dough should be so don't be tempted to add any more flour so here i have about a tablespoon of vegetable oil i'm just going ahead to add that to our sticky dough and then i'm just going to use my hands to continue kneading this until everything is well mixed So at this point you will realize that the dough is becoming soft so you'll continue kneading the dough with the oil for about three minutes once you're done we're just going to cover this with a kitchen towel and then we let this rest for about 10 minutes and our dough has been resting as you can see it's not sticky anymore and also the resting helps the dough to be very very soft as you can see here so next we'll just transfer it to our working space you just go ahead and cut it into small equal balls so this recipe gives you about eight to nine chapatis just to know if you want more you can always double this recipe so just take each cut dough and then you just use your hands to form the balls the way i'm doing it here once you're done you place that aside and we go to our next step And our balls are ready and also here I have some extra all-purpose flour that we'll be using for the rolling process so just spread some of that flour on your working space then you'll take each ball place it on your working space and just using a rolling pin you are going to roll this to a nice oval shape so at this point the shape doesn't really matter so we're just going to roll this to a nice oval shape as you see the way i'm doing it here just make sure that you've spread enough flour so that your dough is not sticking to your surface so that's the shape that we need next you're going to spread some oil so for this recipe i'm using vegetable oil so just scoop about a teaspoon of that oil spread it on one side of the rolled dough So 
so once you're done spreading the oil on your dough you're just going to roll it the way i'm doing it here so just roll it inwards until you're all done once you're done you're just going to take the rolled dough and you're going to heat it on top of your surface the way i'm doing it here so this is just to make it longer next you'll create a coil like shape so just take one end of the rolled dough and then you're just going to spiral that until the end once you're done you'll place that aside and continue the same process with the other remaining dough balls Once you're done preparing the remaining dough balls, you'll spread some flour on your working space and then you take each dough, we're going to roll this again into nice round shapes. So make sure that you've spread enough flour on your working space so that the dough doesn't stick to your space. So just use your rolling stick, you just roll this to a nice round shape. I know some of you find it hard to get the round shapes but the trick is make sure you spread enough flour on your space so that it doesn't stick stick and that will give you a nice round shape now let's get to cooking so the level of the heat when cooking chapati is very important so always make sure that your level of heat is at medium level cooking chapatis using high or low heat will always give you hard or crispy chapati so make sure to check on that so we'll place the roll dough on your pan so make sure that the pan doesn't have any oil at that point so you will just cook that for about a minute and once you see the bubbles you'll turn it and then that's the time you'll spread some oil so just use your spatula to just kind of spread it around so this is just to make sure that all sides are nicely browned so I'll cook each side for about a minute until you see nicely golden bits that's when it's ready remove it from the pan set that aside and continue with the remaining doubles and the chapatis are ready to serve serve them with some meat stews or some soup or just with some tea and i hope you enjoy watching this video as you can see this method is very easy trust me it's a very easy method on how to get soft layered chapatis at home go ahead try it and don't forget to tell me how yours came out of the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe for more of my amazing recipes you can also get me on instagram or also on tiktok at fields underscore kitchen so till my next video bye